Welcome everybody, I'm Richard Krauss and welcome to Booze and Reviews. Today I'll have a drink and a think about the new dystopian drama Chaos Walking starring Spider-Man and Ray Skywalker. It's a young adult story set in the year 2557 in a place called Prentice Town on the planet New World. Remember that name, it's important later. Colonized by refugees from Earth, New World's original inhabitants, the Spackle, fought back, slaughtering many of the male settlers and all of the women. Their surviving men contracted something called the noise. That means that Prentice Town residents like Todd Hewitt, played by Tom Holland, walk around with their innermost thoughts exposed like wisps of multicolored cigarette smoke swirling around their heads. Then when a spaceship crash lands on New World, it leaves Earth woman Viola, played by Daisy Ridley, stranded in this strange world. Todd, who has never seen a woman before, helps her navigate the dangers of her new home as they both discover the deeply held secrets of New World. Whoa! Stop! Don't come any closer! Girl. Girl. It's a girl. Girl. Oh my gosh. Where are you from? You're a girl. No noise. You from Earth? Girl! Dave! Shut up, Todd. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. What to drink while having a think about chaos walking? The obvious choices are drinks like the Mind Bender or maybe the Mind Eraser, which, frankly, I could have used after watching this movie. But more on that just a little bit later. I settled on The New World. It's a snappy little cocktail that's also super duper easy to make. Like most of my favorite drinks, The New World starts off in one of these, a cocktail shaker, and I've already loaded it up with some ice. Then I'm taking uh, some blended whiskey. I'm using a Johnny Walker Red Label and almost like a little airplane bottle because that's what I had in the liquor cabinet. And so you take that, and I'm taking about an ounce and a half of that and you throw it in here, and then it gets super easy after this. You take one lime, I'm gonna cut that in half, and then throw it into this thing, and I love this. This is old school bartender uh, lime extra juice extractor. And so I'll use a couple of good squeezes of that. I think I'll do one more of that. The recipe calls for about an ounce and a half of, of lime juice, and these limes are pretty juicy, so that's working for me right there. Then, uh, grenadine. I know this is where a lot of uh, scotch and even blended scotch enthusiasts are gonna part company with me here. But you take about a half an ounce of grenadine and you drop that in there as well. You give it a shake. And then, Pour it into your favorite cocktail glass. Okay, I'm willing to admit it's kind of a weird color. It's not really like a grenadine color. The scotch kind of takes care of that, but let's uh, give it a taste and see, <laughs> see what's going on with this. Mm, it's good. It's a little weird, but that's just kind of like the movie. And I never would have thought to add grenadine to scotch, but the lime kind of cuts through the sweetness to make this drink a lot more palatable than the list of ingredients when you first have a look at them would make you think. You know what? This isn't too bad. Mm. Let's get to the main attraction, a drink and a think about chaos walking. That was a terrible crash. Stop! Don't come any closer. It's a girl. Girl, girl. Oh my gosh, girl. I'm sorry. No Blonde noise. hair. I've just never, never seen a girl before. Who are you? Okay, I have my drink, The New World, named after the planet in the movie. But here's the thing. What did I think about Chaos Walks? You know what? While I have a drink, watch my thoughts and find out. Chaos Walking has ideas that feel ripe for satire, social commentary, and drama, but squanders them in favor of crafting a tepid, young adult friendly dystopian story. Todd's noise reveals the kinds of thoughts a teenager may have when first laying eyes on a girl, although in a G-rated fashion. 
His inner voice mumbles, pretty, in Viola's presence, but that's about as deep into his psyche as we ever get. It's a shame because the noise device could have been used to provide some much needed humor into this very earnest story, or to more effectively drive the plot or the tension between the two characters. Instead, it is inert, a ploy to add some interest to a generic dystopian tale. Now you've been watching my thoughts about Chaos Walking. You'll find it on premium video on demand, and I gave it two cocktails out of five. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.